everyone, it's your girl Shauna Jade. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be a good video. I like doing videos like this because it excites me. I, I, I don't know, it excites me. So basically, I was asked to do um, my favorite underrated perfumes. I have a, like a lot of underrated perfumes. I always fall in love with perfumes that nobody cares about for some reason because I like simple perfumes and I, I don't know I mean let me know if you guys like if you guys are like me if you fall in love with the most underrated little gems so you know let's get into this video okay guys so I'm gonna start with Fifth Avenue by Elizabeth Arden this one I saw everywhere. I used to see this perfume all the time. Didn't ever think I would like it. No one spoke about it. And it's just a scent that I thought was my really old and you know dated. And for some reason I decided to try and boy was I lucky. I love this scent so much. It's a pretty just an amazing white floral. It has woody and green accents. It smells so fresh so clean it's a little bit soapy it smells so classy and i just love this scent i think it's perfect for like um the office or if you go into church it's just a simple classy type of white floral it smells very timeless so i think like years to come we're gonna have the the youngsters wearing this one i absolutely love this scent if you've never tried this scent you have to try it and it's so inexpensive I love this scent oh my god it smells amazing I'm telling you if you love white floors there's no way I promise you there's no way you're not gonna love that scent another underrated scent that I love very much nobody talks about this scent like why not it's such a beautiful scent and it is called um what is this called share share beauty and this one is by Calvin Klein I love this scent this is what the packaging looks like to me this smells so freaking amazing it's a rose scent but it has like a musky vibe it's woodsy but it's just so freaking feminine it's it smells really good and and it is called beautiful share by Estee Lauder I love this scent and I think it's so underrated oh so it smells um it's a rose smell it's very fresh it smells like oh, how do you describe this one imagine that you're in a wet rosy like a dewy rosy a, a dewy rose garden this is what this this smells like to me so it's like roses with a little bit of woods a hint of greenness it smells soapy so underrated i feel as though nobody talks about this scent and it is just such a wonderful scent i actually would never want to be without this one so this one is called beautiful share and it is by estee lauder one that i recently repurchased because of you barbara jones and it is Ellen Tracy. I lost the cap, it's somewhere in my bag because I wore it just the other day. This scent is just, oh, it smells so good. It has like a Coca-Cola vibe, so it smells really fizzy. It smells fruity, it's floral, it's really woodsy at the same time. It's clean, it's soapy. It's alluring, it's everything. And I could just imagine that this one has a lot of notes in it, but it just all comes together. It's another scent that smells really timeless. And this one is for like a grown woman, you know what I mean? Like she knows what she wants in life, she's confident. And I think this one just, it will gather a lot of compliments. It smells so beautiful. Thank you, Barbara. Another scent that I have in my collection that I think is so underrated and it is called, I think this one is called Share by Vera Wang, or it's called Pink, is it Pink Share? I'll put the name in the description area, but it's the one that's pink in case the color's not coming up. So this one is also a rose scent. I'm starting to think that I, I really like rose scent, clean rose scents. But this one is something that you would wear on your wedding day. So it's a little, I, it's, so pretty it's such a nice it smells pink 
so it smells rosy and it just smells fantastic clean um like I said, I could see a bridesmaid wearing this one or the bride herself. It has a very pure scent and I think it's such an amazing scent. I love this one and it is so underrated. Another Vera Wang scent that I have that I also feel to be very underrated is the original Vera Wang. I love this scent but the only thing with this one is that I feel as though it doesn't last very long. I smell a lot of like white florals and orange blossom in this one which gives it like a classy soapy type of vibe it's also a timeless type of scent I mean I'm a young person but I tend to like mature smelling florals I really really do and I think a lot of people don't go for that type of scent but man I love this type of scent also another scent that I could imagine a bridesmaid or a bride to wear it smells it smells so amazing and it's so clean and it's so pretty you're gonna hear that word a lot this one I don't know if it's really underrated but I for sure know that I don't see this scent a lot um, and I don't see a lot of people talking about it it may have popped up in a couple of collection videos here on YouTube and it is Mac Max Turquatic I love this scent and look at the packaging oh my god the packaging is adorable so this one is like an aquatic scent it smells green and blue and I know that's a weird way to describe a perfume but it smells very woodsy aquatic green um it smells it smells amazing I love this scent I remember I was walking by the max store and I smell this scent in the air and I turned back and I told my husband I don't care I'm gonna get whatever that smell is and when I walked in the girl that was um, at the register told me that it was this one and I picked it up at original price it smells so good okay another scent and I believe it's is the last scent is this one It's called Judith it's called night by Judith Lieber so this one pops up in my favorite fall um, perfume videos and I I mean nobody talks about this scent nobody talks about this one and I think it's such a nice scent it has whew, oh every now and then every now and then I smell a perfume that makes me do that so this one is like oh I guess what is this berries in words and oh it smells so delicious it smells amazing it smells creamy and and berry like so imagine berries woods cream vanilla oh it's delicious it smells so delicious I love this scent and I think it's underrated and before I found it in century 21 never freaking heard of it it's such a nice scent I think it's a little comparable to see um, by Armani I think this one is like the toned down version it's not as sweet it's more I mean creamy on the creamy side but I absolutely love it I'm thinking about I was thinking about not adding this one but I'm like let me just show you guys because I think it's another scent that's really pretty and really underrated and this one is Miami and this one is by Pitbull this one I also feel as though it's very underrated and I think ooh, ooh. Oh, this shit smells so good like oh it smells amazing so this one has strawberry um, blue lotus it smells really fruity and aquatic at the same time I I mean I think it's very unique smelling and it's so underrated I don't see it anywhere like in TJ Maxx or anything like that oh, it, it, it's just an amazing scent Okay guys, so that's it for me. I love you guys so much. I always say that at the end of my videos because it's true. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your most underrated perfumes are. As usual, you know, I'm curious to know. Um, okay guys, so that's it for me. You know, keep the requests coming. You know, put down some requested videos. Give me some ideas. You know, I love that kind of stuff. Anyway guys, that's it for me. I love you so much. Bye.